Who's in the mood for pork chops? Hello guys, this is Universal Giant, and welcome back for more of Let's Play Diddy Kong Racing. And if the opening cutscene wasn't enough of an indication, we are going to be finally racing Whizpig. The jerk that took over the island and made it a mess and made us go through all that hell just so we could get to this point. Yes, that jerk. Sure I can! Just watch me! And look at Pipsy, just turn her head to the left to the right. Is somebody going to help me? Please, anybody? But yes, this is Whizpig, arguably the most difficult race in the game. Bar none. Now the idea here is to hit every single zipper. Every single one. I'm not kidding. This race is almost impossible if you don't hit every single zipper, so you need to memorize this track in order to even have a chance. It's crazy how difficult this race can be. It, it is. See that zipper I missed over there to the right? That might kill me. Although I do look like I'm pretty close, I could probably still catch up, so there is a little bit of room for error here, but uh, it's not looking very good right now. You have to be almost perfect with this race. It's notorious for that. And it's funny how it's raining, too. Is this the only time they use the rain effect in this game? May very well be. They don't use weather effects too often. So yeah, the idea is to hit every- oh my goodness. I'm just going to keep going to show you how impossible it is if you miss a couple of zippers. I mean, th this wouldn't be a testament to how difficult this race is if I didn't leave in a failure or two. Because it looks like, in any other race, I'd be doing okay, but as far as this one goes, he's already a sixth of the track ahead of me, and I'm not going to be able to catch up to him. I'm pretty sure he does sort of slow down at the end, or at least give you an opportunity to catch up towards the end. At least, that's from my memory, but yeah, L look at this. Look, Might as well just enjoy the surf over here, because there's no way we're going to win this one. And how the cart's wheels inflate when you're in the water. Did I just sink to the bottom? <laughs> he drowns you when you lose! Whoops. Alright, I deserve that last failure because I made fun of fat kids and I really shouldn't be doing that. But seriously, watching Whizpig run from the back is hilarious. Go chase after that big piece of cake, you fat pig. But yeah, this race is pretty difficult, especially if you don't know the track memorized. I mean, you're not going to beat this race unless you have the track memorized anyway. I hit every zipper and I'm still behind him. That's okay though. We'll see how this turns out. I like how close I am to him at this point. I think he slows down eventually, or at least gives you an opportunity to catch up towards the end, from what I recall. We'll see. Yeah, I'm cutting that turn a little bit too tight for my liking. I've fallen off to the side there more than once. Watch where you go airborne also, because um, it may catch you off guard, and you may fly a little bit further and a little bit faster than you want to. He's going to pass me, isn't he? Yes, he is. But I'm still pretty close to him, so if I play this lap out properly, I should be able to pass him at the end. I don't want to pass him too soon, though, because I'll get run over and that'll screw me. I want to save it for the end. Yeah, make sure I get that zipper. Do not hit me, Luis Pig. Oh my goodness, no, I had it! No! 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 Go, Pepsi, go! Damn it. Oh, I almost had it that time. If only I didn't go into the water. I could probably say that about every single attempt, though. If only I didn't do this, if only I didn't go swimming, or if only Pipsy wasn't such a cross. Eh. I mean, it takes a lot of practice to get this race down. Even after you've done it so many times, 
just to remember where all the zippers are, because a lot of these places look the same, and yeah, that's exactly where I messed up the last time. But he is pretty close, so I'm going to keep it in. I should be able to pass him. He does slow down at the end of lap two, I noticed that. So I'm not too concerned. But with how familiar you'll be with this track after so many attempts, it is kind of fun to rematch him again and again and again just to, you know, I guess for old time's sake or to make you think that these att attempt after attempt at memorizing the track isn't worthless entirely. Yeah, this is about as close as I was to him at the end of my last attempt, so... Yeah, this is doable if I don't mess up here. But this is a very nice challenge of a race. I mean, at least the adventure mode would have been nice and easy, and this race would definitely be a step up for the challenge. But, I mean, Adventure 2, forget about it. This is, like, average here. This is the normal difficulty of the Silver Coin Challenges and the regular races and the Trophy Challenges. Because it only took me about seven or so attempts to beat Whiz Pig. Oh, what's wrong, fat kid? You're gonna cry. You're gonna go home to mommy. It looks like that's exactly what he's going to do. I almost feel bad for the fat kid. No, I take that back. Hello there! TT, that's not how you sound. But hooray, we finally defeated Whizpig, and we get to celebrate the only way these kids know how. Partying! Yay! Cocker Crunch and Pipsy, Tip Top, Timber, Taj. Bumper. Diddy. Nice silver balloon over on Shorber Island there. And a pretty view of the lighthouse. The lighthouse we didn't really look at in too much detail before. Who's that hiding behind the lighthouse? Of course the bully is still angry with us and he doesn't like us celebrating. So what do you think he's going to do? What any good bully would do. Just scare everybody out of the party. Jerk. Sorry to break the party worms, but I had to say goodbye. Well, you could have said goodbye when you ran off crying to your mommy. Is that a spaceship that looks like a pig's head? This isn't Mother 3, you know. Hey, stop shooting the squirrel! So Whizpig really was an alien, that's kind of weird. See you later, worms. <laughs> oh well, at least he's out of our hair. And we get to see the credits! Which show us a nice overview of all the courses we've raced on so far. I especially like this music too. Giant and we just be dig on racing. Well, maybe we haven't finished because there's something left to do. 
It's a secret. Please don't tell that there's more to this game than I showed. There is another level and another domain to visit. We have four more tracks to do in this thing. A secret world will be unlocked. Because we got all trophies in trophy races. And that's all we needed to do. So the next video will have that message. I do not know what I'm saying anymore. And I think that it's a good idea to stop singing. Cause I do not know what I'm saying. So yes, once these credits conclude, I'm going to show you the next domain slash world slash level slash the end that's right there may be more to this and display credits for who did this yeah that's actually a cheat code that you can enter on the options screen here and just for completeness sake on the title screen you'll notice there is this little options selection down here and you can go to magic codes and this is where you would enter the codes that they give you in the end of the credits like say the one that we just got was who did this and it said that was for the credits T H I S so if we enter it display credits and in the code list we will see display credits is on these two are unlocked whenever you unlock TT and drumstick no I didn't enter the codes I don't know what they are there are also a bunch of cheat codes for there's a two-player adventure mode there's uh, making all of the balloons the same color. I still remember a few of those. And there will be other codes as well. I'll list them in the description if anybody's interested in them. But I don't remember what most of them are. And whenever you beat WizPig, you can go back and get a new code. Although, in this day and age, it's easier to just look them up on the internet anyway. In the next episode, we will continue on to whatever the secret world is. What is it? We'll find out. <laughs>